So guys, I have a bad habit. And it's a bad habit a lot of guys have. Especially car guys. And girls. I'm sure there's plenty of y'all that do this too. But I scroll social media constantly, right? Looking for cars and seeing things that I just generally can't afford right now. Seeing what my next build is going to be. What people will offer for this thing. You're on top of the Brabus right now. And the other day I stumbled across a, a website that caught my attention because it had my 1320 on it. So a couple of videos ago, I put out to you guys that I kind of regret selling that car. I can't afford to rebuy it right now. It's been on the market for about a month, so I'm kind of hoping it sits for a second. But the really ironic part of the story is the dealership it's at is exactly where I bought this. So we're gonna go over there right now and we're gonna see if they'll allow me to check the car out, which I'm sure they will. I'm gonna see if they'll let me drive it. I really doubt it, but I also want to see if the hidden damage we discovered was ever fixed. <clears throat> That's a big thing. But for nostalgia stake and you know me going, you know what, I made the right decision. You guys are gonna go on a ride with me over today and uh, we're gonna check and see how I feel about the car now. Although I'm not gonna lie, looking at it again, the want was kind of real. Ugh. never gets old. The wheels that I took off here, the uh, copper and chrome rotiforms, the brand new tires on them, already sold. God, that was perfect. It, it went exactly how I needed it to go. I'm sure there's some of you guys that are like, you have a newer, better, faster car. Why do you care about the 1320 still? And the answer is actually extremely simple. I want to take this thing to the track, but the problem with that is, is if I take this to the track and break something, you're talking thousands of dollars to repair. Probably a month or so of waiting on a particular part, especially if I bust a diff or break a turbo or something like that. With Mopar, I can go to the dealership. I can go to AutoZone. I can't do this with this car. So it kind of limits the possibilities of what I can do with this car on a track. Now, can I go out here and hoon and be stupid on the streets? Of course I can, and we're going to. But doing that, and a Challenger alleviates a little bit of the financial stress. I'm not DDE, man. I ain't got Lamborghini money yet. So we'll get there though. We'll get F12 money and build one right. I said what I said. You wanna see a really, really stupid feature of this car that I love? Check this out, right? Watch right there at the bottom. I'm at a red light right now, so. But get right here. Foot's off the brake now. <laughs> I love this stupid feature. Cause I sit in traffic all the time. Cause always construction in Texas it gets so oh, oh the tent difference but it gets so old so much construction all the time so the spot we're talking about Texas hot rides if you guys have never been to this place you owe it to yourself to come at least one time I mean just pulling into the parking lot Audi Miata check out the build on this thing wide body charger crazy wide body super crazy deep wheels look at that that is insane even deeper in the back. I think these may be crazier than uh, what we had on the Mustang. That's right there. And then we got a bike crash Mustang right beside us. What? And then old beauty right here. Which, by the way, guys, these new tires, let me tell you, change the whole feel of this car. Now, I know how many of y'all have been in like boring Toyota dealerships. This ain't that. Check this out. Got a Type R in here. Got a saloon. That is nasty. Like, these are car guys, man. We got a bar set up. Check this out. Not a Mustang guy, but that is clean. And then you come out here, dude, and everything changes. You don't understand their inventory. I mean, just coming in, we got a Trackhawk, Maybach, Huracan, two Vipers, a Urus, OBS Lightning. <clears throat> look at that that's crazy now before I show you any more of the other cars we got to go look take a look at what we came here to see right the 1320 I've already came in here once and looked at it the nostalgia is so real so real but it's also kind of like do I need it challengers out there ying yang bro and then there she is dude now how do i know this is my car this could be any car right for one the belgium wheels 
Red brakes. Remember these guys, because I remember just dealing with these all the time. This clip had to be replaced because it kept coming out. Who else has the forged carbon fiber wrap roof? And then let's go back here to the back. Remember I had my little devil symbols all over this thing? Now this, a little, little janky, the D's a little out of place. There's no doubt that this was my car. Oh, the nostalgia is so real right now. Let's go get the keys. Now this is a treat too, right behind that came Camaro. This is the little brother, look at this thing. 6.3 and I will still walk you. Although she is almost just as aggressive as mine. Just, mm. all right, we got the key. You remember the nostalgia of this thing? You remember how loud this thing was? For those of you who don't, here's your headphone warning right now. There she goes. thing I forgot <clears throat> boy she runs and it's almost like there's like alcohol in it you can feel it in your eyes because there's tiny baby cats on this thing so I mean yeah there's no doubt this is this is the first car I ever did a wheelie in there's proof there's proof go back in the videos and not much has changed I mean <sighs> big girl you have been missed the only thing that I see has changed is why would you go with these valve stems a little strange don't know why you even changed the valve stems, but and why, how you got all seasons on this monster? It, it doesn't even make sense to me. If anybody's interested in it before I make a bad decision, come see my guys at Hot Rides. Ask for Mitchell. Mitchell will take care of you. Oh, let's go outside and talk. Now, if that's a little too real for you, they got all kinds of other challengers and cars in here. Let's take a walk around and let's see what their other best cars are. Here's another Trackhawk. I got a soft spot for these things. I love them. The ultimate sleeper, the Chevy SS. These things, you could pick the wrong fight and not even know you did it until it's way too late. Don't see a lot of Hellcats in blue. There's one right there. I actually dig the indigo blue. A couple of V2s in the house. Mm, 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 mm. Now over here, we run into something everybody has kind of been telling me I need to get. I, do I think they're a little played out at this point? Yeah, I mean, they've been around the block for a while, but I'm still a sucker for a GTR. How many people would kill to see me back in a V6, even if it is this monster? And then if you like Mustangs, good lord, it goes on for days. Another SS, beautiful color. I don't know what that blue is. It's like in between indigo and like a Miami blue. I'm a fan of the color. Got a couple of different type R's over here, but there's something I don't think the camera's quite picking up. Look at the pearlescent paint in this. That's, that's a crazy color. Civics aren't aren't my thing. Not gonna lie to you guys and say they are. But that paint though is a whole other story. Got a nice go mango Hellcat Charger. Shout out to my boy Diedrich and his lady cat. Got the M3 with the orange interior. Check out that interior. That interior is wild. What's up with those seats? Is that like ventilation? You see how it's like screened? Who is that? That's pretty cool. Now here's something people would call a sleeper too. I don't know much about them. I know they try, but it's a Taurus show. I don't know. If you guys know anything about these things, tell me about them in the comments because I don't really mess with Ford. I'm not trying to be negative, but it's not my bag. And for those of you asking, yes, that K member has been replaced. No damage underneath here. Looks good. All right, so like I was saying, dude, the nostalgia is there. Do I want a track toy again? Absolutely I do. And if YouTube was making enough money, wouldn't it be a question? It's on the way. Um, do I think I made a bad choice buying the Brabus? No, no I don't. For a couple of reasons. One, you need a grown up car every now and then. I think our HOA would lose its mind if I had that thing starting up every day. But on that same aspect, 
a big part of how you guys got to know me was drag racing. And that car is built for it. I really forgot how rich that thing runs because, dude, it fired up. And I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but I was like kind of tearing up, like, uh, uh, it's really rough. But that cam, that crack when that thing starts, mm. Somebody come pick it up. They got it in here for, I believe, 42.9 right now, which is a great deal for all the work that's in that car. But with that being said, I hope one of y'all pick it up before I make a decision because I miss it. I kind of miss Mopar. And I miss Mopar in the fact that I could drive that thing to the track, race it, and drive home. I can't do it with that. I love that car. That car's not going anywhere because, I mean, you know me, I like a rarity factor, and that's definitely got that rarity factor. So if we get rid of that car and pick that thing up, kind of lose that. And with that being a one of four in North America, it's gonna become very hard to find again. Kind of makes that choice easy for me. All right, so I came out and we spotted E-Class, right? E-Class, somebody out here checking out the Brabus. So, what's your name, bud? Javier from Dallas, man, what's up? Javier, what's up, bud? So we're gonna do something crazy here. He was digging the car. We gotta give him a start. He hasn't heard it. We gotta give him some crackles off this crazy Brabus exhaust. All right, weird thing. The diffuser, you can't buy that diffuser unless you buy the exhaust. Oh wow. The That's entire bad. package for diffuser and exhaust, $15,000. What? Yeah, yeah. You'll see why here in a wow. second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand Javier the camera. I want him to film his reaction to this thing. <laughs> here you go. Let's do it, man. Crazy guys, y'all need to hear it in person though. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Right? You, yeah. You don't expect that out of a. Nah, not at all, man. What? She's a, she's a little monster. She moves. Yep. What do you guys think? What would you do? What do you guys want to see on the channel? Because I'm not making these videos for me. I'm making them for you. What do you guys want to see on the channel? Do I need to get back to the track? With that being said, guys, I appreciate anybody who just watched this video. Leave your honest thoughts. I'm not asking you to sugarcoat anything. What do you really think? If you dig it, let me know. Leave a comment. Tell me what you really think about the 1320. As always, I appreciate y'all. Stay savage.